same way this works. Okay, so the the digest your your digestive system right is just a tube through your body. We are literally tubes, um, and the reason it's a tube, um, and and it's the, your, the inside of your stomach is the outside of your body is because this never shuts. Your ass never shuts. That can't close. Um, so the inside of your mouth is the outside of your body because there is no way to seal this. Same thing with like, even though your eyes feel like the inside because the thing shuts around them, it's not. It's still technically like an appendage that's attached. Like your eyes, your eyes are like your limbs. <laughs> Poor sad babies. And yeah, your uterus, right? Same scenario. Um, because that doesn't actually close off, it's still, it's, you can literally pull it out of the body. That's why, like, uh, us for EDS patients, that's why it tries to fall out. Like, it literally can do that for us. <laughs> it's the outside of your body. Yeah. Mind blowing! going to tell me that what I said is misinformation and not facts when what I said was that the inside of your uterus is the outside of your body because if it was pulled out from from out inside of you what the inside is would now be the literal outside because it is a cavern inside of our body because it does not reseal that is literal fact and then when I tell you to ask Hank Green to validate your need, need for green. somebody with an education to no. give you the information you no. tell me to calm down no that's not what when you are literally just being invalidating on purpose no. to try to be right no, why i don't need to why do right. this please explain all right you really can't but since you really need me to show you here let me show you so if you have a human right let's just draw a silly little human here right and this is this is them cut in half basically right and yeah that's a pretty uh <laughs> surreal looking human but we're not gonna fuck with that right now um but see if you cut it this is the uterus right so this part that this right because of this of how that is this is the outside of the body this is the inside of the body. If you pull this out through the vagina here, this now means that the outside is on the outside. That's literally, it doesn't. Okay, so what you just watched there is a lot. Yes, I commented, calm down. But the reason I said calm down was because of the numerous number of times this woman was cussing me out, demanding I ask Hank Green for information, and then calling me a white supremacist, an ableist, and then saying I have an ego and a lot of really negative things when all I was saying was I really don't see, I think this is misinformation. And I will say... I did research. Not, I didn't need a man or a certified person to give me information. I was able to get it myself because, you know, internet. Um, but, yeah, I looked up the information for this to understand what she was trying to say more because it wasn't making sense. And as you have watched, it, it didn't really make sense to me and it was really confusing the way she was saying it. And being a person who has encountered the Hank Green video that she references, like, he's not saying you can take organs out of the body. So, for reference, here's the female body. The uterus and everything that we're talking about here is connected through the dots, so I'll give you a minute to examine that. Here's what she's trying to talk about. Or they. I don't want to assume. Um, basically, because it is open to the external environment, the mouth and your anus, it is considered a, an organ that is outside the body, which does not mean in any way, shape, or form that you could <laughs> go in and pull it out and it would be inside of the outside. It, it, you would die. It just means that it is something that has exposure to 
the external world because we eat food, we digest it, we dump it out on the other end, right? So she's partially correct here. It's the way the information is being communicated that is confusing and a little n incorrect. But again, like it's, I think it's, it's difficult to explain what this is without a diagram or having people understand what the different types of organs are called, which is why we should refer to research and diagrams and understand things by people who have took, taken the time to diagram and understand the human body as a whole. Now let's dive into the fact that she called me ableist. Um, first of all, I didn't know she was autistic. Second of all, I didn't know she had EDS. Um, they. But here, this is what ableism is. Able bodied people using facilities that are made for disabled people, such as parking spaces or bathrooms, asking a disabled person what's wrong with them, assuming that a disabled person's diagnosis tells you everything you need to know about them. That was never any of the way I was talking to her. I was trying to have a calm discussion and understand, and she immediately went into attacking me. Here's an example of what an ableist belief and attitude is. Here's another example of physical ableism, two different types, um, hate or discrimination based on physical disability. Did I, I don't understand how I was being ableist towards you. I didn't know that you had any of these things. And the information you were stating was not completely, cor not correct, but it com wasn't completely fully explained in the nuanced way it needs to be. Also, here's another example of what ableism is. Asking someone what is wrong with them, saying, you don't look disabled, as though as this is a compliment. Viewing a person with a disability as inspirational for doing typical things, such as having a career, assuming a physical disability is a product of laziness or exercise. I never assumed any of these things. I, I, I am ADHD. I have a disability. I'm well aware of ableism, and I'm really tired of ableism being used as a form of a weapon against people who are just trying to understand and ask questions, myself and so many others included. Ableism needs to stop being a weapon. Yes, we should call out when people are actually being ableist, but it's not a word that we, like narcissism, it's not a word we need to just like toss and throw around everywhere. Original comment that I posted and here is all of the information I posted. I actually went and I looked for the Hank Green video she told me to go look for. I found one where he's talking about his testicles and it wasn't until today that I found the one where he's talking about the outside of the body and it's not the way he's talking about it is not the way sh she is talking about it hence making it a little confusing. But uh, yeah I ask her to calm down when she starts to curse at me. I'm trying to calmly in this tone talk about the then she continues to harass me and then she posts a video about my calm down comment which you saw then she goes on a, a character assassination crusade and makes a ton of assumptions about me um uses her autism as a way to claim i'm being ableist without knowing any information about me without having any openness to conversation like this this is a really huge problem on tiktok where people just immediately attack rather than give someone the benefit of the doubt like the benefit of the doubt is an important thing to do and no it's not the same as Krug, dunning kruger effect that it's not the same then she she again it's just a ton of assumption you can read the comments if you really want like i i think i made maybe four or five comments one of the last comments i made you can see below where she says i'm it's white supremacy which is not <sighs> so why am i making this video it's not to defend myself, well, maybe a little bit, but it's mostly just to open up the conversation on the fact that we are so quick to attack people because they make one comment rather than taking the moment to help them understand and 
we are using words like ableism in an incorrect format and we need to change that conversation.